very best shaw at Stencil Girl products. I've got the new May Stencil Club stencils right here. The ones by Tiffany Goff Smith. And I thought I'd take them on a little test drive. So why don't you come along and see how they work. First of all, let me just show you. I put some washi tape on the edge. I cut them apart and um, a couple of them, the edges were a little tight. So I made a holding piece out of washi tape on the edge, which is super easy. You just paint it, just tape it on the front and the back, easy peasy. And I got to thinking, I think I'm gonna embellish this page. I started this page in my little journal. This is my little baby journal. I started this page while I was on a trip with Tiffany and I thought, well, this would be kind of fun to use Tiffany's stencils to complete it. Because I used the yearbook stencil right here and I love that stencil so much. So in case you haven't bought it, you need to run on over and get it right now. But as I look at this page, let's do a little journal analysis right at this moment. And what do you see? Well, I like the colors. I've got this and this. So I've got kind of a L-shaped little composition, except this whole middle part isn't really doing anything. And if I look at this, you know what? Let's just do something real quick. I'm going to take a photo of it. I'm going to get... Um, well, let's see if this works. I shall know soon enough. But um, this is what I do lots of times if I need to analyze my work. See, I've got a photo of it right there. Now I'm going to edit that and crop in on it so that it's just the art. And this is not going to be real high-end work here because I cropped out part of the bird's head. But just to give you an idea. So there's the, the art and I have it in a vertical orientation. Now I'm gonna edit it and change it to a black and white. So on my iPhone, I edit, then I go down to this to change the colors, and I pick the one, you don't pick the one that says noir, you pick the one that says mono, and that is black and white. All right, and look what comes up there. You've got one strong black image. You've got a few maybe little whites, like a little bit here. But basically, look at this. It's all the same mid-tone, 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 which is what I suspected. This whole area in here has virtually no contrast whatsoever. And um, although the colors are pretty, they're just, I don't know, it's just not doing anything for me. So I thought, you know, I think I'm going to do something to this. I need to grab one of my palette pages um, because I don't have one right here. And so I'm going to sit it over at the side. I selected a color to use. I selected double denim. And I was thinking about the fact that I've got pink, orange, yellow, and I wanted, and these are all warms. And I thought specifically about what would help this pop out a little bit. And something on the other side of the color wheel, cool. So this double denim was the color I chose. Now, I would like to add a little bit of black to that. I don't want to put a whole lot in there. And, of course... I forgot to bring my black paint over, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of India ink over here and see how this works. I could maybe mix it in with, um, with the paint. You know, that's what I do all the time, and I think of this as like, hey, if it's all water-soluble, it's all water-soluble, it all works together, hello, right? That's what I, each in my classes and that's what I would tell you today. I use all these water soluble products together all the time. All right so I'm going to take a little double denim here and I'm going to add just a hair black to it to make it a little darker and it's going into kind of a dark double denim which is what I would have expected. All right nice and we'll go forward and embellish a little bit more as we move on with the page, but that's enough for me to at least get some paint on 
the page. And I just want these little shapes. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be. I didn't even talk to Tiffany about these stencils. So I don't know what they're supposed to represent, these little moon shape face um, shapes. Maybe they're little moon shapes. I don't know, but I just like them. I like the way they look, and I wanted to um, use them. So here they are. And I'm kind of stenciling in a quick and dirty little way right here. But look at how it has added to the value change, particularly in that part of the piece. Big change, yes? Yes, I know it. So this is the other one that I really want to use, and I kind of want to add this in a little bit of black up here in the, the corner. I really like this stencil. And that was the reason I wanted to um, cut it apart is I, even though this, um, set is for the month of May and if you join Stencil Club this will be mailed to you May 15th. I'm making this video in April and I'm getting ready to go on my Paris and Amsterdam print and I want to take this with me so I had to cut these apart so I could just take this little baby one with me because it's one of my faves out of it and I also like this one too this one with the little crosses. I'm very fond of this the fat cross motif and um, the idea that she's added striping to it, exciting to me. Plus, you know, she's known for eyes and there's tons of eyes on here. And this one that we already used, so cool. And then my fave. And now there's this. Look at this handwriting and with the edging around it, which could be like a little component framework, and then this middle area, and then this top area. I mean, this is a lot going on for stencils. I just love all the options here, really. So, so cool. So anyway, I think I'm gonna just grab some of the double denim without the black in it. So I've just got the blue itself and just put a few of the kind of the the scribble bits around here when you use them like this they do not read as handwriting and you know i like that that you get the option that it's going to either look like handwriting or it's going to just look like little tiny shapes. So that's pretty cool. I can see a little few words in here. Joy is one of them. And there's a star up in the corner. So, oh, Tiff has really brought it with these stencils. I have to say, if you've never been in our club, and if you've, been thought, if you've thought about joining, I think this might be the month you want to jump in because these are fantastic for one and you're going to get a project from tiff for two and then you're going to get a coupon for three so there's a lot of reasons that it would be good to be in the club and all i know is that we have more community going on in there than ever before we do swaps every month now and I've been participating in those myself and I've been getting, oh my gosh, just the most beautiful things from some of our people because of course they do beautiful work and it's so fun to get things in the mail that other people have made for you and I don't know, I think our stencil club is gotta be one of the best deals going right now in the mixed media world, truly, truly one of the best deals going. Because where else can you get two nine by 12 stencils that if you bought them just off our website, they'd be $28. And you get your two stencils, then you get all of that camaraderie I was telling you about, the coupon, the class, etc., etc., And it's $25, hello, including shipping that's a deal so um i don't know i just think you might want to think about it i thought i would just pop out the color on at least one of these guys one of these little things of course i could have selected a different brush 
rather than this shape, but that's okay. I've already done it. And I'm gonna pounce it down to kind of grunge out that corner. Then I'm gonna go back in with a few of my ink tense pencils and add some extra little color components here and there. And then I think I have improved this page quite a bit. And I do hope you'll think about joining the club and play along with us. It's a great time and a super, super value. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products.